Now, kids, what's going on here today? It's going to be another Perl lesson. So let's get started by typing in and editing a program I've already pre-made for you. Okay, so here it is. Standard Perl stuff, as you can see, right here. Pretty simple code. Okay, so now you can see a few things in my code. First of all, I did while, true, print, high, then a close curly brace. I'll just be demonstrating this to you by running this program and showing you what happens. So it keeps on printing out high. Now why is this? Because I've done something called the loop. A loop is something that keeps on you know doing one thing for instance if I kept on saying hi in a loop I just begin hi 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 you probably know what a loop is already um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to do a loop in your Perl program let's get started by editing it now you'll see while Parenthesis, true, close parenthesis, space, open curly brace. Then you have the print, quote, space, high, quote, and then the close curly brace. Simple enough. You'd say while, and then you type a condition in here. I could do something other than true. While true just means do this while life is true. This is just a piece of crud. Um... I could also, instead of true, do in here 3 space equals space 3. That just means while 3 equals 3, do this. That means it'll do that again and again and again while 3 equals 3. I, actually, when I do 3 equals 3, I have to do double equals, but whatever. And I'll keep on doing that. So, I can also put in here a condition watch this print enter your name name equals standard input chomp name okay and now I can say while dollar sign name EQ Alex. So it'll keep on printing out high while my name is Alex. So I'll just type Alex is my name. It'll keep on doing that. Press Control C to get out of there, by the way. Now to type my name, and I just type some random crud. It hasn't done anything because it hasn't even entered that loop and began to loop because my name was not Alex. So now, let's try to do one more thing. Let's um, just go down here. Okay, so now we've done this. Okay, so what we want to do here now is we can do a few things. Um, we can just get rid of this name equals Alex. Or what we can say, well, name not equal Dave. Let me just explain this. I've never said this before. In an if statement or a while loop or anything, if you have, you know, dollar sign, like, variable name, EQ, quote, like, thing, quote, you can also have NE instead of EQ, um, which stands for not equals instead of equals. So I'll just say not equals Alex. So now while my name is not Alex, it'll keep on doing that. Now, we can use this for more proper usages like enter a command. And then dollar sign com equals stud in jump dollar sign com. Okay. And then let's do system dollar sign com. 
and then I'll say while com doesn't equal exit. Okay, so now I can run this, enter your name, I don't care what my name is, enter a command. Now I can type ls, and I'll do that. I can um, type ls dash l capital R slash, and I'll do that. I can enter a command, it'll do that, but when I type exit, it'll get out of the loop. You know why? Because I the command that I'm processing is dollar sign com. And I said while com doesn't equal exit. So while com not equal exit. So if com does equal exit, it'll just get out of this loop. And at the end of this loop, I'll just have it print text session good goodbye. Backslash n. Okay. I'll put a few stars there just to make it official. Okay. So, um, now I'll just use Dallas M name. So now I'll run hi hi. Enter your name, Alex. And now it says enter command Alex. I can do ls. I can do ls slash users slash Alex slash desktop. And it'll show um, all the documents on my desktop. This is accurately you can see here. Okay. Um, so also you can... Um, uh, just type exit. You can add a condition here. So I'll get into this in my next tutorial. But just in case you care at all, after you do like dollar sign com not equal exit, after that you can do a space, insert, and then ampersand that is shift seven space, and then another condition I'll do dollar sign com not equal quit so it'll do this while com doesn't equal quit and com doesn't equal exit now com can not equal exit but equal quit and actually I need two shift sevens in there two ampersand anyway so com right here needs is either going to be exit or quit if I've typed exit or quit this will do it while it doesn't equal exit and it doesn't equal quit so if it equals one of those it'll just go out of the loop to demonstrate this of course I will run it enter your name Alex I can type ls. Now I can type quit, and it's quit. I can also type exit, and it's quit. So that's just how to conveniently um, do a while loop. All the code for this description, I believe, will be in the description. Um, so thank you for watching, MacHeads. Um, subscribe, and um, goodbye.